Complex in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It's the NJSIAA Championships. This game for the Group 4 title between the Big Blue of Barringer High School of Newark, 25 and 4, and the Tornadoes of Trenton High School, 24 and 3. Hi, everyone. This is Dick Landis along with Fred Price. And we have the big guys for you right now. Group 4, we hope you've enjoyed our coverage from last night and through this afternoon and now the Group 4 game. And i got to say right off the top that this is a memorable occasion for Fred Price because it was 19 years ago that Trenton High School won its last state crown in 61 and Fred Price was the coach. And he is wearing his red and black necktie. And it's not true that I'm wearing the same suit. And he has the same suit on. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a great ball game. You know, I'm, I'm impressed already with Barringer's size. And, uh, of course, we know Trenton. The place is jammed. The people are going oh. crazy. It's a uh, super basketball evening. Keep in mind that these two teams have beaten some mighty fine basketball clubs here in New Jersey. It was not easy getting here. And there is a lot of excitement around this game tonight. We want to talk about a couple of people. And for the Big Blue of Barringer, they have never been in a state tournament before, in a state championship game before. We're going to tell you about Jerry McMillan, number 14, a 6'4 senior. There is Jerry. He gets 23 points a game. He is a slick shooter. He is a very good rebounder. He works at the guard. Watch out for him. He's deadly. I like him, Dick. He's a left-hander. He goes, and of course he goes very well to his left. And working with him, John Kostinen, two uh, excellent officials. Ronnie Lewis, former uh, superintendent of schools in Plainfield, now with the Pennsylvania Department of Education, and John Kostinen from the Philadelphia Public Schools. Trenton High School in the white uniforms, in their huddle, with coach, with coach Lenny Carmichael. And in the blue uniforms and a white trim, the big blue of Barringer. There's Lenny Carmichael, and the word is that he'll be moving on to Florida, that he'll be coaching down in Orlando, Florida next year. And I guess he would like to go out with a state title if he can. Barringer, coached by Matt Rivers in his fourth season, sends the big blue out on the floor. This could be one of the more exciting group four games in recent years here in New Jersey. We sure, we're sure you will enjoy this one. Like we can't wait to see it. Well, I'm <laughs> telling you, both clubs look to be very evenly matched, Dick. I, uh, as you look at them right here from floor level, there is very little physical difference between both of these ball clubs. It'll be Garrett in center circle, along with Mike Brooks for the tap. As we begin the state group four title, the 62nd annual. Quickly, Barringer. And pumping away, number 14, McMillan. Jerry McMillan breaks the ice right off the bat. And that is the threat. Barringer uh, in a zone, feet of that. And watch 14, just a slight push off with the right arm. And uh, Ronnie Lewis has him. McMillan picked up the foul. Here's Randolph from the corner, way off target. And they're tight. They're very tense right now. Up we come now with Chandler going to McMillan. Well, McMillan has two buckets, and he is down on the floor. Hit the hardwood very hard. He has four points, puts his team up 4 nothing, but he is down. And he hit hard, and it's interesting, no one from Trenton picked him up. Here is number 14, Jerry McMillan, on the floor, left-handed star, offensive uh, paragon for the big blue. And, uh, Okay, here you see, no, he's all alone. He goes up. And actually, I think he hit his own man, number 25. I think he came down on Brian Johnson's left foot. That was not a Trenton player that hit him at all. And yet he's on the foul line. Just underway. 4-0, Barringer jumping out on top. Okay, very interesting call on slow-mo. You see that... That, that fall was caused by coming down on Brian Johnson's foot. So and it'll be a three-point attempt for and Jerry McMillan. And the big blue off to a fast start. McMillan can put him up five zip. And he does. And he does. Just underway. Back
back with Trenton High, a team that averaged 73 points a game. They have some good shooters. King runs the show out front. He's number 10. He sets him up. Corker's the big guy underneath. He likes to drive at a bucket. There he is from the corner, off target. Garrett on the rebound. And quickly. the Tornadoes not getting back quickly on defense. Here's Holmes. He misses. Rebounded by Randolph. Randolph coming down floor now into the lane at the foul line. Corker going for the rebound, but it's grabbed and controlled by Garrett. Quickly now with McMillan. He has all the points. Whistle underneath. Foul on Trenton. Apparently and, King. And it appears to be Greg King underneath with the push off. And this game has started out at a tremendously fast pace. And it will be Barringer's ball out of bounds under the Trenton basket. Barringer in a man to man, in a zone, and the Tornadoes in a man to man. And they stay man to man on an inbounds play also. Garrett, around it comes. Finally back to Garrett. He's got two. 7-0, Barringer jumping out in front. Trenton yet to score. Here's King now. He has Brooks in the middle, Corker underneath. This is Baker, a big kid, strong kid, takes the shot. He's got it. And he hits it, and the Tornadoes needed something like that to uh, quell what could be a Barringer real fast start. 7-2, Barringer. Sammy Six. Randolph picking up McMillan. 6.20 to play in the first quarter. Here's a little guy, Chandler. He runs it from out front. Garrett on the far side, number 33. Johnson, 25. And this is Holmes, 24. They're trying to go inside. No go. So here is McMillan maneuvering to Holmes. Foul on Trenton. And it's on number 24. Okay, let's see this move. There's the fake, and McMillan hits him, or Randolph hits him, but they fake Corker right out of his uh, Adidas. <laughs> Two shots at the line for Carl Holmes. Carl Holmes averages 15 points a game, 73% foul shooter. Strong kick. He can give his team a six-point lead right here. Doesn't do it. Corker on the rebound. 7-2, Barringer. Beautiful rebound by the big guy. He's a strong, strong ball player. Corker maneuvering in traffic. Loves to do that. Sometimes a little overeager and will force a shot. But he's dangerous. And so far, good zone, like a 1-2-2. King from outside into the hands of Holmes. Quickly was, to Garrett. Was in and out, and the big blue is down. Garrett missing. King grabs the ball. Here's the pass. It's going to be picked off by Holmes. Holmes has it in the lane. He's going to go it alone. Loses the ball. Parker now against McMillan. Got it. And a beautiful move by Randy Corker in avoiding that offensive foul. Holmes now is going to back it off to the little guy, Troy Chandler. 7-4, Barringer with a lead. Garrett blocked, knocked out of his hands, turned over to the Tornadoes. There's Randolph on the bouncer to Corker. Oh, missed the shot. Follow-up is good by Brooks. And a good rebound, good pass off by Sam Randolph. Tornadoes starting to come back. They are within one point. Barringer still holds the lead, 7-6. 4.30 to play in the first quarter as Chandler lets it ride. And Garrett trying to rebound it. Johnson has it. Oh, he had a lane right through for a layup and didn't realize it. Johnson did not realize it. Good weak, weak side defense, Dick, by the Tornadoes. Chandler from outside. Bombs one in. And you knew that was going. That, was, that had eyes on it. Back with the Tornadoes, driving as Baker. A wild shot. Randolph grabs it, gives it back to Baker. Tapped in, Corker. Beautiful rebound by the big guy. Look at this move, a great pass by Randolph. A miss by Baker, and Corker stuffs it. 
Andy Corker brings his team with to within one point. Trenton hawking the ball, trying to take it away. McMillan misses, and Brooks rebounds it. Here comes Randolph, and he is very quick. He is slick. Here's his shot. Again, a tap in by Corker. Corker with six points, puts Trenton on top. For the first time in this ball game, the Tornadoes now lead by one, 10-9, with 3.25 to play in the first quarter. Chandler from outside. Trenton starting to control the boards as Randolph is fouled from behind by Chandler. And the Tornado's doing a beautiful job on the defensive boards right now with uh, Brooks, Randolph, Corker, all going for that ball, Andy Baker. And in for Barringer now. In for Johnson is number 22, Bill Scott, the 6'4 junior. Let's see that last Trenton bucket. Here's Randolph. Come down. Bacon. Here's Corker up with a beautiful left-hand tap. And we just about missed the live bucket. Randolph on the drive baseline drive, Dick. At the line, back to the live action. Randolph hits one. Trenton now leads by three, 12-9. Trenton outscoring Barringer 10 to 2. As McMillan misses. Here's Baker. And they better take a timeout for the big blue. And they do. That's what and they do. do. Tornadoes beating the big blue down the floor. They're coming off with a defensive rebound and just exploding down the floor. Barringer starting up 5 0. Going up 7 2. And suddenly. The Tornadoes come roaring back, led by Big Randy Corker. He has six points. Baker has four points. And we have 2.42 to play in the first quarter. 14-9 Trenton. Let's look at it again. Here's that shot going up by McMillan. It bounces around. Randolph with that rebound. And look at him come out of the pack with a lead pass to Baker. They can see they're driving by the big blue right now. That's one of the things Barringer is going to have to do is uh, up the tempo of their transition ball game. Trenton High School has been in a state tournament 13 times in the last 62 years. Their last championship in 61. And they won some championships way back in 27 and 28, also 1920, 21 and 22. Well, they are no strangers to state tournament play. Barringer first ever appearance in a championship game. So far in shooting, Trenton seven for 16, Barringer four for 14. And uh, Barringer hasn't scored in the last two minutes. I would say, Dick, that uh, once this ball game gets underway a little bit longer, we're gonna see the shooting accuracy pick up because uh, the first five minutes were played on, uh, you know, emotion and the just the thrill of being in the championship ball game. For both clubs, they're going to have to be wary that they do not pick up those careless fouls. Here is Troy Chandler now coming to Garrett. McMillan missing, and he hit those shots early in this ball game. Parker comes to Baker. Randolph back up, rebounded by Scott. Good calls by John Koskin, and both time Barringer on the ball. Inside they go, uncontested. A and shot for number 33, Phil Garretts. Randy Corker momentarily turned his head on his man. You got to see both your man and the ball. Trenton leads it, 14-11, as Corker pumps from the far corner. Scott trying to rebound it, and he gains control of it, almost lost it. Here's Garrett, traveling on Garrett, turns it over. And Andrew Baker turns and uh, motions that somebody's got to pick up 33. 152 to play in the first quarter. 14-11. The Tornadoes lead the Big Blue of Barringer. And the Big Blue in a tight 1-2-2 zone. Baker maneuvering. Comes out to King. King bangs into McMillan and picks up a foul. And the Tornadoes right then were completely unbalanced on offense and uh, overlooked Sammy Randolph. He got to go around the horn. If you go over the top, you come up with an imbalance on that zone offense. Three-point lead for Trenton. Barringer of Newark with a ball. A team that played all its games on the road. 
Garrett Chandler trying to go inside. He does to Holmes. Two points. And Randy Corker trying to front him by getting that lob pass. They need more help from the weak side. Trenton's lead now down to one as Corker lets it ride. Garrett battling with Baker for the ball. Good play by Andrew Baker. i to show you, never give up on a rebound. You know, it looked as though Phil Garrett had that ball. Trenton high by one point, 14-13, 1-10 to play in this first quarter. Packed house at the Thomas Dunn Sports Complex in Elizabeth. King lets it go. A whistle and a foul on Chandler. And once again, there's, there's no need for a foul like that. You know, when um, Greg King takes a 15-foot jumper, which was a good jumper, to foul him after that, no reason to. Greg King at the line, averages 10 points a game, gets two shots here. 74% foul shooter. A junior. 104 to play here in the first quarter. Ron Lewis lining everybody up along that lane properly. We've got it. And a tornado's lead by two, 15-13. Here's Chandler now. He has two personal fouls. That could be crucial because Chandler runs the show. Knocked away by Baker, regained by Holmes. Inside to Garrett. Traveling. And there is when Trenton got some help from the weak side, and it confused Garrett. He did not expect to see some another white shirt right in his face. Here's a pass in. See, Corker comes down and just rattled him. Shook him up. He didn't expect it. Randolph inside. A foul is called on Trenton. On 15. That's Corker, his first. Back in for Trenton is Brooks, and Corker will take a break. And that's a good move. 44 seconds left. Lenny Carmichael. There's his assistant coach, Jed Kadish, sit, sitting right be beside him. 44 seconds to play in this first quarter, 15-13 Trenton, but at the line will be number 24, Carl Holmes of Barringer. One and one. And he hits it. Beautiful ball game so far. And uh, Carl can tie it up. Right here. Barringer playing very well right now. And he doesn't hit it. And Trenton holds a one point lead. 15 14. There's Randolph to King. Baker coming back to King. Almost threw it away. Yes, almost a miscue there. Randolph, a slick ball player. Recruited by a lot of people, Rutgers, St. Peter's, finally from the corner, Brooks. Baker trying to tap it in. Oh, he is tough underneath. Just Ran missed that baby. Randolph tried to tap it in, but Barringer controls it. And they've got to pick up McMillan. He is free right now, and there he is. McMillan, the one-hander. And Barringer regains the lead, 16-15. He got to shoot it. There's Brooks at the buzzer. And the first quarter ends with Barringer regaining the lead, 16-15. And you can see that Trenton failed to pick up that left-hander, Jerry McMillan, and he did the damage. Well, if this is what is to come over the next three quarters. Watch out. You Here better believe it. Beautiful play. You know, here's, here's McMillan. You see Chandler flip that ball to him. Nobody is there to pick him up. Randolph a little slow coming down. Perfect arch, and it hits. In shooting in the first quarter, Trenton 7 of 24. Barringer 7 of 19. Barringer opening with a lead. Trenton grabbing that lead. Barringer grabbing the lead back at the close of the first quarter. We hope you've enjoyed championship basketball here on New Jersey Public Television. The 62nd annual NJSIAA Finals. And if you were with us through the weekend, you saw a whale of a game last night with Long Branch winning Group 3. Earlier today, Clayton High School of South Jersey winning Group 1. 
of South River winning the Group 2 title. And this is the group for the big schools. And those were the Trenton High cheerleaders, Trenton Central High School cheerleaders, I should say. TCHS on their jerseys. They had two lead changes in that first quarter. McMillan, the high scorer in this game so far. Seven points, three for eight from the field, one for one from the line. As we begin the second quarter, the Tornado's out on the floor. They've beaten some good people. They beat Irvington, or rather Piscataway, Hamilton West, East Brunswick, Neptune, Camden to get here, while Barringer beat Irvington, Montclair, Union, Plainfield, and Teaneck. Mighty tough teams. Here we go now. Second quarter action. Garrett and Brooks. Hat back to McMillan. No contest. Garrett controlling the tap beautifully. Holmes with the ball to Scott. Traveling. Number of traveling calls starting to hit the big blue. And I think that's caused by a, you know, a very aggressive Trenton High School man-to-man -man defense, Dick. They do pick up the free man. There's Barringer, King now. Barringer playing a good zone. Randolph going by Garrett for the shot. And he's got it. No good. Fouled apparently before the shot by Garrett. And evidently that was before the basket. That's what it was. So Trenton gets the ball. And from the line, Brooks lets it ride. Kind of a wild shot. Bad shot, yes. Sixteen, fifteen. Barringer with a lead. No scoring so far in the second quarter. Gets away from Garrett. Gets it back. Goes to Holmes. Knocked away. Fouled in the process by number twenty-three. Brooks is first. So Brooks goes out. Baker's back in the lineup now. And at the line will be number twenty-four. Carl Holmes of Barringer. I'd say right at this stage, Dick, neither club has played up to its fullest potential. But the longer this ball game goes, the better they'll get. Tremendous excitement generated around this game here at Elizabeth High School. It's been a great weekend of championship basketball. One more shot. Two-point lead for the Big Blue, 17-15. The Tornadoes now. Phelps is in there for Trenton, number 25. You'll see him in a minute. Ellis Phelps. Here's Corker driving to the bucket. And that's exactly what he can do beautifully. He will drive that baseline, and uh, he's a big machine coming down there. And he ties it up, 17 all. Seven minutes to play in the first half. All tied up. Back with Scott. And Chandler, Nick Millen. Ellis Phelps down there with Baker on the baseline and Corker. McMillan has an opening. Rebounded by Baker. Quickly, quickly coming to Corker. Who's got it? It's controlled by Phelps. Goes back to Randolph. And a big blue doing a good job off the defensive boards. That was almost a backcourt. McMillan on that last rebound, and now Chandler. Holmes, Scott, and Garrett over top of Corker. Barringer grabs a two-point lead, 19-17. Second quarter action, Corker from the corner into the hands of McMillan. And they're not getting any rebounding after Corker throws that long jump shot from the corner. Holmes with the ball, now Garrett. Garrett fires. He's got it. And he puts his team up by four. 21-17. And this is a Trenton timeout. And I think Lenny Carmichael right now is saying to... 21-17. And this is a Trenton timeout. And I think Lenny Carmichael right now is saying to Randy Corker... When you're throwing that 20-foot jumper, there's nobody under the boards for the rebounding. So with 5.36 to play in the first half, 
It is 21 for Barringer of Newark, 17 for Trenton Central High School. For the Group 4 state title. And of course, this winds up the high school basketball season in New Jersey. We want to mention wrestling. Earlier today, we taped at Princeton the finals of the wrestling championships. So you can catch the NJSI AA wrestling finals next Saturday afternoon starting at 2 o'clock here on New Jersey Public Television. And next Saturday night, take note, one more basketball game for you. 8 o'clock live, the New Jersey College All-Stars against the Pennsylvania College All-Stars. That will wind up our season. Should be a good one. You'll see some of the best players from Philadelphia and throughout New Jersey going head-to-head. -head. Shooting in the first half so far, Trenton 8 for 28, Barringer 9 for 23. And those were the cheerleaders of Barringer High School. There's Manny Carmichael. Last minute instructions with Jed Kadish, his assistant coach. Matt Rivers, the Barringer coach, in control over there with his big blue ball club. King now with 5.30 and counting down in the first half. Corker in the corner. And number four, Leroy McCoy is in there also. Here's McCoy over top of Holmes. Way off ball. target. Now we move with McMillan beating Garrett. Arringer with a lead, 21-17. Scott on the far side wearing the headband. McCoy in there for Randolph, and he's picking up McMillan. Garrett moving with the ball, shooting. Had to rush the shot. Scott's got it back. He can't hit it. A wild scramble, and Baker finally comes up with it. McCoy to Corker. Corker dumps inside to Phelps. A beautiful pass off, and they missed the shot. And so, with 4.45 to play here in the first half, it belongs to Barringer. There's Matt Rivers in his fourth season, bringing his team into the final for the first time ever. And that inbounds pass to McMillan was a push-off by McMillan that the officials couldn't see. They were blocked out. They're trying to go to McMillan. That was tapped away by McCoy. McMillan regained it. Chandler now comes to Garrett on the near side. And Trenton simply is not being aggressive on Phil Garrett. He's thrown that shot up nice. Harrington opening up a lead now. 23-17, 4-15 and counting down in the first half. Leroy McCoy on a move. Baker on the follow-up, knocked out of his hand. Grabbed by McMillan. There's McMillan through traffic at the line. Pumps it. No go. Rebounded by Phelps. And Phelps almost, almost threw, threw it away. away. You're right. There's King over top of Scott. Good. And this is uh, what the Trenton Ball Club got from Greg King the other night against Camden. He hit that outside shot. Here you see the pass up to King. Takes that one bounce, takes a little bit up with a nice jumper, and it hits, and he's fouled. At the line will be Greg King. A chance for three points. He can bring his team within three, and he does. 23-20. Barringer with a lead and 3.53 to play here in the first half. Anybody's ball game. They'll do it again. Okay, a lot of Trenton pressure right now. And a man pressure. There's Garrett. Garrett, number 33, moves for the ball. Little Chandler. Scott. Inside they go. And Chandler lost the ball. And I think it was a carry on McMillan. We were sort of blocked was out. It? I just got a look at that left hand through there. He, uh, okay, then we won't blame. Uh, I was that. I was blocked out also. So, well, with anyhow, it's the Trenton, Trenton ball. Harringer ball. And a foul on Trenton. In the process, McMillan's fouled by Randolph. And the foul is on Randolph. And right now, Barringer is out quicking Trenton. 
Watch them move in. They'll move in on Randolph here. Randolph's got the ball. And there are those quick hands. And here comes Randolph with the foul. He hits 14, who is on the line. Jerry McMillan. 327 remaining in the first half. McMillan, 6'4", averaging 23 points a game. One and one here. And the left-hander knifes it through. 79% foul shooter. Good-looking young ball player, Dick. He can pick up a C, his 11th point, and he does. And he puts his team up by 5, 25-20. And a 2-1-2 zone press by Barringer. Randolph comes to Corker, who's going to go for the bucket. Misses the bucket. Scott pulls it down. Jump ball underneath. And that's greeted with a lot of displeasure by the Barringer fans. It'll be Corker and Scott. Here's Corker going up. Just misses. He's in there. It rolls on, off. There's a the battle for the ball. And there's where they call the jump ball. A good call. Back to the live action. Corker and Scott. Corker tapped it. But it's going to be controlled by Holmes of Barringer. Chandler quickly comes to the near sideline to Garrett. Garrett fouled by King. That is his third personal foul. King is in foul trouble. And again, Dick, very little reason for Greg King to commit that foul. With Garrett actually behind the, uh, the line of the basket. One and one for Phil Garrett. And it's a break for Trenton. Worker got it, Look and as he, as he tried to dump it back to Randolph, by golly, they almost lost it as Holmes came over and almost stole it. Barringer playing a beautiful defensive job. Here's Phelps. Whoa, what a turnaround. Ellis Phelps, his first two. 25-22, Barringer, 2.40 to go here in the first half. An exciting ball game. The dump inside intended for McMillan turned over to the Tornadoes. King comes rapidly down floor into the lane. Almost lost it, but goes to Corker. And that was a break for the Tornadoes. They're within one point now, 25-24. And so far, Dick, a point to be remembered. Lenny Carmichael has shuttled in some ball players in this first half and Barringer has not. Bill Garrett on the turnaround. Red by Phelps. Under two minutes to play in the first half. McCoy going to Phelps on the turnaround. Wild shot. Really no reason to pump it up. Tornadoes not getting set at all. McMillan has done very well on the defensive boards for Barringer. He got that last rebound. Turns it over to Holmes, and now Scott on the fake, and the shot, and a foul. And once again, what they're doing, they're faking. The Tornadoes are going for the first fake, and they're driving by. Barringer right now, I would say at this moment, Dick, is playing a, a more stable offense than Trenton. Barringer has just sent a sub in, number 44. Wayne Turner, a junior, is in there now. 136 to play in the first half. At the line will be number 22, Bill Scott. For a pair. Another left-hander, you know. <laughs> they've missed a number of foul shots here in this first half. Gets another one. And Scott puts his team up by two, 26-24. Here comes Randolph now. Sam Randolph, Leroy McCoy. Big Corker takes that shot. 12 points for Corker. And the, uh, and it's all tied up. Now they've got a rope here waiting for halftime, but you can't have that rope out there during the ball game. And John Costini, the official, was stuck. Here's uh, Randy Corker, not sure where to pass the ball, so he goes up, and nice jump shot. Good touch. Look at that. 
So it's all tied up once again. 26 apiece, 123 to play in the first half. Joe Johnson, number 21, in for Trenton. And I said Lenny Carmichael has been giving some ball players some rest. His pace has been frenetic. Uh, Lenny used his ball players very well in the semifinal against Camden. All tied up. New ball game, as they say. And time running out in the first half. And Turns it over. Chandler yes, it was. gives it to the, turn, to the Tornadoes. What happened? Troy Chandler caught that ball. Then it slipped through his fingers, and he bounced it and caught it again. Discontinue. Randy Corker, by the way, is known as Big Cheese. Big Cheese Corker. Here's McCoy driving, traveling, turning the ball over to the Big Blue. All right, Leroy McCoy got to cool it just a little bit. You can see he's moved that ball around. He, uh, he got a lot of time. Chandler to McMillan with under a minute to go now in the first half. All tied up, 26 apiece. McMillan looking around, coming to Chandler. Baker stealing the ball. Baker's going to take it home. Here he comes, and he's pushed from behind. What a foul. And I want to tell you, Andrew Baker stole that ball on sheer strength. He just ripped it away from that Barringer ball player. Let's catch a look at this. Here's the pass. And look at right away from the Barringer man in. And he's fouled by 44. And Turner picks up the foul as Andrew Baker goes to the line for the three-point play. He's got it, and he puts Trenton on top by three, 29-26. Time running out now, 40 seconds and counting down. Here's Turner, a wild shot. Scramble, wild scramble. Leroy McCoy's got it, and he's gonna take, he's gonna take Chandler right on in. Now, he's, again, traveling. Goodness. Again, there was an opportunity for Leroy McCoy to stop, look around, and hit the three man. And I think he knows it. Trenton had a chance to run the clock out and go in with a five-point lead. 29 seconds to play in the first half. Trenton with a lead. Back we come with a big blue and McMillan, a fine shot. Wow. Called on number 25, Johnson. No, it didn't. Isn't it? No, it was. It's, it's 24 blue. 25, Brian 25, Johnson. Brian Johnson. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that will put uh, Joe Johnson on the line for one and one. Let's see if we can catch this underneath. There it is. There's the hip by 25, Brian Johnson, trying to nudge his way in. And here's Joe Johnson of Trenton, one and one, a 6'5 sophomore. Oh, sensational play. There's Phelps pumping it back up. Holmes and Garrett pull it down. And forced out of bounds, so Garrett gets the ball back with 15 seconds to go. 29-26, Trenton. First half action, rapidly closing out. Here's Holmes at the foul line. Rebounded by Randolph, Sam Randolph. Here he comes with five seconds. He's going to let it go. They're trying to tap it with one second. They'll go. And Randolph really could have taken that ball in much more closely. He was not sure, and he made, it, made the only play that was possible. Good move. Well, that's the first half and the Tornadoes of Trenton hold a 29-26 lead over the big blue of Barringer High School of Newark and one heck of a ball game. This is something else. Really a beautifully played first half. Both clubs started out a little bit tense, but you can see right now they're playing their best ball. Recapping now in the first half for Barringer, McMillan with nine, Chandler two, Garrett has ten. Holmes four and Scott one. And for Trenton High, it's Randolph two, King four, Brooks two, and Big Cheese Corker with 12, Baker seven, and Phelps two. The Tornadoes, as we bounce back and forth, Barringer grabbing the opening lead, Trenton coming back, getting the lead, couple of ties, bouncing back and forth, and finally Trenton goes into the locker room with a three-point 29-26 lead. And we'll be back with a halftime interview right after this. The half, so Mr. Big Cheese Corker has broken 1,000 career. Here we go now, second half action. On the tap, it's controlled by Holmes, or McMillan rather. 
trying to come to Holmes. Knocked out by Trenton. And a good save by Mike Brooks of a sure deuce. Underway now in the third quarter. 29-26. The Tornadoes by three over Big Blue. Big Blue with a ball. And Garrett fouled as he went up for the shot. And again, it's on Baker. There's another instant stick. That shot was way off target. And Garrett still ends up on the line with a possibility of hitting two shots. Here it is okay. again. Okay. Here it is. And as you see, Baker misses him completely. That's the way it looks on the slow mo. And well, let's say we'll we'll give the officials the opportunity to miss one every now and then. One more shot for Phil Garrett to put his team up by five. Okay, he makes it 29-28. What I meant was he could come within one point, 29-28. Okay, here we come. The Big Cheese on the drive. He's going to back off. And Unusual was, for Big Cheese. Uh, Usually uh, likes to dig it right on down in. That was a good move, though. You know, he had nowhere to go but an offensive foul. Loses it. They tied him up. McMillan now to Chandler. Back to Chandler. They have a one-point lead, 29. Trenton High, 29. Barringer, 28. Down by one. It gets away from from Johnson. Brooks dumps it back out to King. King's going to let it go. Deflected and grabbed by Johnson, who turns it over to McMillan. And now little Chandler trying to go underneath the Holmes. Knocked away, but a foul is called on Johnson. Number 25, Brian Johnson, his second. Trenton High up by one. And they've got Mike Brooks on the high post. Inside, trying to feed it to Brooks. Tornado ball. Twice in a row now, uh, both Corker and Randolph have taken that ball into the corner and literally pinned themselves in the corner. They've got to get that ball out on the periphery and move it around. Corker on a delay shot. What a shot it was. And he'll take it. It looks like a clean shot. He has 14. He has 14 points. And it's 31-28. Trenton by three. Back with Chandler. What amounts to a 1-4 offense by Barringer. Garrett misses, scooped up by Baker. And they give it to Randolph. They've got to get this young fella pumping a few long jumpers. Corker wants the bucket. Tough rebound by Johnson. Are they going to hold on to it? Here's the feed to Chandler. Can't hold on to it. And Baker has the ball. All right, that's a break for the Tornadoes. Too bad for Barringer right then. They had a sure basket. On the far side, Randolph dumping inside to Brooks. What a shot. Woof. And Mike that Brooks. was a tough layup by Brooks. Mike Brooks. Good lead pass by Ra Sam Randolph. Five-point lead for Trenton. 33-28. 5.35 to go in the third quarter. There's Holmes driving, falling down. What a foul. Called on Brooks. And Brooks says no way did he foul him. Let's get a look at this and see what happened. Here goes the drive. Uh, I don't know. It, Looks like the wrong guy. It could have been an accident. <laughs> you know, Holmes accidentally hit a Trenton foot. There was no uh, no intentional trip at all. Here's Garrett. Pops it right in along that baseline. 12 points for Phil Garrett. Three point lead for Trenton. 33-30. Third quarter action. Corker with a ball. And I don't know where he was going with it. I think he was trying to dump it back to King. It was knocked down, however, by Johnson. There's King now. Sam Randolph into the hands of Garrett. But 
stolen by Randolph. Puts it in. A uh, sensational steal by Sammy Randolph. The tornadoes. Okay, uh, Sam Randolph. There's Johnson. Over to Holmes. Pulled down by Randolph. Randolph quickly comes to Corker, who's going to go to the bucket. Oh, oh yes. who spoke to uh, number 24, Carl Holmes. We're going to get a slow-mo of that. Here's this great lead pass, and here's this stuff. All right, that is a stuff. Well, i got to tell you that when Randy Corker sees the least bit of an opening, and he turned around, and there was the bucket straight ahead. There's no stopping the big guy. And he and puts his team up by 7, 37-30. And what, what uh, probably triggered that again was a beautiful rebound by Sam Randolph, who let go with a lead pass. Randolph has shown that he is amazingly quick coming off. There it is again. And coming over was Holmes. Lock stop, 439 to play in the third quarter. Tornadoes up by seven. Parker averaging 24 points a game, 14 rebounds a game. Has gone over 1,000 career tonight. And the Trenton High cheerleaders performing with precision. Both clubs mapping some strategy. Matt Rivers wisely taking a timeout. Just to get his ball club reorganized. Well, as you look at the shooting stats so far in the third quarter, Trenton is four for seven. Larry, they're one for four. And Corker will be on the line because uh, Holmes did make body. Can add one more point, making an eight-point lead. Here's a strange foul shooting style. <laughs> this young fellow, I'll tell you. Yeah, you wonder when he's going to shoot it. And lets it go, and it misses. Pulled down by Johnson. Quickly now with McMillan moving against Randolph. Firing at the foul line. Two points. That young fellow can play ball. And the Big Blue stays in its zone. No reason for them to switch. They've done a good job. Randolph goes to Brooks. And Brooks is hit by Garrett. Garrett picks up his second personal. Mike Brooks couldn't quite get a hold onto that ball. And it might have been just as well because uh, that's another personal on, I think that was on 33, was it not, Dick? Yeah, that's right. It's on Garrett, his second. Here's this move by Jerry McMillan. Look at his fake. Randolph with him all the way. Two shots here for Mike Brooks, the senior. And the Tornadoes uh, a little bit cold on the foul line. Harringer had trouble at the foul line in the first half. Missed a number of shots. 4.15 to play in the third quarter. One more shot for Brooks. Pulled down by Holmes. 37-32, Trenton leads Barringer of Newark. Chandler, McMillan. That's a travel. You said it. Yes, all the way. And I think I was guilty of officiating then, but that was right in front of us. 11 turnovers for Barringer as Sam Randolph drives with a ball and pumps away. Back shot. And Re Randolph sliding in very nicely through the seams. Trenton by seven, 39-32. And did they throw it away? Holmes trying to save it, but King's got it. And he threw it toward the wrong basket. Again, you know, <laughs> you save that ball, throw it toward your basket. Biggest lead of the game, nine points for the Tornadoes, 41-32. Holmes to the bucket. He's got two. Carl Holmes. Nice move by Carl Holmes. 3.20 to go here in the third quarter. 41-34, Trenton. Sam Randolph pumps into the hands of McMillan. Three on Chandler. one. Back to McMillan. Chandler trying to put it up. And Baker 
comes up with the ball. What a save by Baker. That was a three-on-one fast break, and he nullified it. Brooks over to Baker. Parker grabs a rebound, wants to get the shot. Brooks trying to tap it. Baker tried to go up, traveling. No, John Cuskin has a travel. One official has a jump ball, the other has a travel. And Cuskinen had a travel, and I think he was correct in that call. Tornado and, uh, into the lineup now for Trenton is Ellis Phelps, number 25. That belongs to Barringer, though, and Garrett. Garrett coming to Chandler. Here he comes, the little guy, the bouncer underneath to Johnson. We've got it. And that ball almost went out. Back we come with Phelps on the turnaround. And Air Scott ball. on the rebound. And Barringer coming back right now. There's the drive and Garrett shot. Foul. And I'd say it's on 15. You're right. Porker is second. Or third, we'll check it. That's two for Randy. And you know, there's Lennon. That's three personal fouls. Okay, here we go. And here's this attempted slam dunk. Corker right on it, smacks the ball, rolls around, and comes back for a Barringer bounce. Good play. Well, that's three personal fouls on Randy Corker. We have 2.18 to play in the third quarter. 41-36, Trenton with a lead. They led at the half, 29-26. And I'm sure Lenny Carmichael is saying to um, Randy Corker, here's a fellow going up with a baseline jumper. Why foul him? Give him the shot. You know, you're up there in his face. And Corker picks up a very unnecessary personal foul. The Barringer cheerleader is out on the floor. Barringer of Newark. Last night, another Newark school played in the final. We played, played Long Branch for the Group 3 title. Newark well represented this year in state tournament action. And what a crowd, huh? I guess uh, 5,000. I believe that's about it. When they fill the end zones here, 5,000. Well, Trenton had seven-point lead three times. Barringer got uh, close by one point. Trenton and leads it 41-36. And Phil Garrett on the line for two. And he hits it. Good ball player. Garrett gets another one. As Barringer comes creeping back now, sneaking up on that nine-point Trenton lead. And Trenton now leads by four. Big Blue trying to come back. Trenton trying to maintain his composure, keep the lead. Baker is fouled by Scott. And Holmes comes back into the lineup for Barringer, and out goes Bill Scott. Oh, God, it's pressing. You extend those front men. The back line has got to spread out if there's penetration. That's exactly what happened right there with Andrew Baker. Andrew Baker gets two shots here. And you can see the tornadoes. Nobody seems, well, even in the last game, Dick, just a little bit more time on that line. Get yourself together. Got to look at the front of the rim. He hits that one with 2.06 to go in the third quarter. 42-37 Trenton over Barringer. So Big Blue now with the ball and McMillan number 14. A deadly shot. And he's trying to have them clear one side so he can go one-on-one -on, -one on Randolph, but he can't. There's Little Chandler working back to McMillan. All tied up in the middle. Johnson, the big guys. Holmes comes outside. McMillan wants the shot. And he's going to take it over Randolph. 
Johnson tried to tap it, but Randolph has it. Trying to get it to King. McMillan picks it off. Back to Garrett. 125 and counting down in the third quarter. Harringer trying to fight its way back. They were down by nine not long ago. It's a stacked deck. They're trying to run him loose. Oh, they do. McMillan. 13 points. Keep in mind, he averages 30 a game. And now they sneak to within three of the Tornadoes. 42-39. Both clubs well coached. And a foul on McMillan. That will be his second. And here you see McMillan with Baker. Actually, Baker's move is up court, you see, and he starts getting twisted around. And there's McMillan wrapped all around him. Millen goes over to talk to Matt Rivers. At the line, Andrew Baker of Trenton, one and one. All right, Baker slowed down just a little bit on that shooting right then. All got to take a lesson from uh, Jerry McMillan when he hits that line. Gets another one. 103 to go in the third quarter. And he hits it. 44-39. Trenton by five. And the Tornadoes have not flashed that half-court press that they used against Camden and so surprised the, uh, the Camden ball club at the end of their first half last week. McMillan with 13 points. Almost a five-second violation there. Moving that ball, working that ball. Garrett takes the shot over Baker, and he's got it. And he is a good shooter, Bill yeah. Garrett. He has 14 points. 44-41, Trenton. As McMillan tried to go for the steal, but Trenton has the ball, and Sam Randolph. To King in the lane. And King had an opportunity for a beautiful pass off to Corker underneath, and he missed him. Harringer trying to come back. Here's the bank shot for McMillan. No go. Johnson trying to tap it, but Trenton has it. Randolph comes to Corker. Corker! Oh, what a and shot! A sensational shot, and it counts. 18 points for Corker. At the buzzer. Yeah. Ronnie Lewis in perfect position to see both Corker and the clock high up on the wall. Had it good. Big basket. Uh, layup shot at the buzzer gives Trenton a 46-41 lead at the end of the third quarter. Here it is again. There's Corker. He realizes he's got nothing on the left side. Takes it over, up, and back. Look at that. Beautiful. So we get ready to start the final eight minutes of play. There you see it. Trenton High, 46. Barringer High, 41. For well, the Group 4 state title. We want to thank a lot of people. Our directors who have shared the load today. The fearless Frank Belmont, Dave Getz. People working slow-mo today have been Chris Powell and Dave Getz. Our production assistant, Ira Piller. Our statistician, Paul Vagnazzi, assisted by Mike Giacalone. Our mobile unit supervisor, Dick Miller, and his assistant, Ted Zylak. Our floor manager, Bob Barnett, and all the people, the cameramen, the technicians, the electricians, everybody. We thank them. It's been a very interesting weekend of basketball, but a lot of work. And we thank you, gentlemen. There they are, TCHS cheerleaders out there. Buddy Carmichael coming out on the floor to pick up some debris. In shooting overall, Trenton 20 for 57, Barringer 15 of 43. So we begin the fourth quarter with Trenton on top by five, 46-41. Corker in center circle. Okay, and jumping with Garrett with Garrett, and Garrett has shown some great jumping ability so far. This will be important, who controls the tap. Holmes had a hand on it, but Randolph comes up with it and dumps it back to King. Now Randolph from the corner. Short. Rebound, Johnson. Quickly with McMillan. Glances up at the clock. 
Let's it ride. Parker. Long pass to Phelps. Here's Phelps. And no foul called. He was Amazing. Building. He was building underneath. Unbelievable. No foul. McMillan. Two points over Corker. McMillan with 15. And now Berenger is in within three points. Back with Corker. And King fires. Tough rebounding. Here's Garrett now. 7-10 to play. 46-43 Trenton. Berenger battling his way back. McMillan on the turnaround. And a tough rebound by Phelps. Traveling on Trenton. And Tornado the tornado's a, a little bit loose right now. Not taking the good shot underneath. And Carmichael, Leonard Carmichael takes a timeout. Got to regroup his tornadoes. They were in charge, but they're not right now. The big blue of Barringer threatening the momentum just a little bit with them right now. The quarter ended on Randy Corker's sensational overhead layup. And some of the crowd here at the Thomas Dunn Sports Complex. Well, we have 6.59 to play. I'm trying to see that sign. What does it say? It says, uh, can't make it out. I can't see that either. I couldn't read it. <laughs> 46 43, Trenton High with a lead and just a tiny bit under seven minutes to play. And Barringer with the ball under the Trenton basket. Worker has 18 points, Baker 10, Randolph 6 for Trenton. They're the high scorers. There is Sam Randolph. Rutgers is looking at him, St. Peter's College, a lot of other people. He's a fine ball player. I, uh, I'd like to see him stay in New Jersey. You know, there's talk of Alabama, Washington State. Ball belongs to number 33, Phil Garrett. Back out over the other side to Garrett. And Chandler is going to take the shot over King. Johnson, a tough rebound, and he's fouled as he goes back up. Yes, sir. Brian Johnson doing a job. Brooks picks up his third personal. Ever Barringer. Garrett has 17, McMillan 15. At the line is Brian Johnson. Hogan put his team to within one point of credit. That's another one. And a couple of ball players walk up to him, tell him, Brian, just cool down. Both teams have missed a number of foul shots. We'll check it for you overall. That's another one. This is two. That hurt. And this Sam Randolph can rebound. There's King now. Yep. You really shouldn't cross that line. Back to King. He has Corker over here in the near corner. Corker would like nothing better than to go over that bucket. <laughs> All right. They need a man on the high post. This is a good Barringer zone. There's the man. Brooks with a ball. King with a ball, trying to bank it. King had it, knocked out of his hands. How about Baker? Randolph tried to tap it, but a foul is called on Brooks, his fourth. And I'd say that, that was just a bit of frustration on the Tornadoes' part right there. Here you see the Tornadoes with shot after shot, one shot here. Here's a tap that misses. And here's the foul right there. Just a little incidental body contact, but the official's right on it. So Brooks goes out, Phelps comes in, and at the line will be number 24, Carl Holmes of uh, Barringer. With 6.13 to play, 46-43 Trenton. Barringer was at the line moments ago, they missed two. Holmes has a one and one. And he hits this one, got a nice arch on that shot. Carl Holmes. One 
one more coming. Phelps grabs the rebound. 46-44, Trenton by two. Clutch rebound. And it's gonna belong to Trenton. And, and number 13, Andrew Baker. Greg King throwing the ball to Baker who was in a crowd while Randolph was by himself. They've got to come out and help King. Inside to Corker at the foul line. Johnson trying to rebound. And Johnson, I think, was fouled by Baker. That's number two for Baker. And the Tornadoes are missing those easy shots inside. Nice little jump shots they're getting inside, and it's a parade to the foul line. Well, in the last few moments, they've been to the line, and out of four attempts, they've made one. Now they're back at the line again. Tornadoes have got to get a little bit more offense out of Greg King in the back. Ryan Johnson at the line. And he will have a one and one. He can tie it up. And he does tie it up. Not yet. Not yet. One more. Okay. They're going to tie it up right here. 5.54 to play. Don't go away. Here's Johnson. Ties it up. 46 apiece. And this Barringer press is bothering Trenton. They have not been the same ball club since this pressure went on. They're 12 from 22. 12 for 22 from the line, Barringer. Here's Corker on the turnaround. Hop right out. And again, tough luck for Trenton. Oh, when you lose him like that, it hurts. Hustling Barringer defense. Barringer can take the lead. They haven't had the lead for a while. Here they come with Little Chandler. Little Chandler's got it. Whoa. Barringer on top. 48, 46, 515 to play. Here's Andrew Baker. Baker again, but knocked out of his hands. Chandler comes to Garrett. Here's Garrett. Got it. And the big blue, and it's timeout Trenton. Barringer coming alive, doing a job. Whoa! How about that? 5.03 to play. And Barringer down by nine, not long ago, has come back and taken a four point lead, 50 46. And Fred, that was triggered by Little Chandler. Yes, it was. He is coming through. He's playing very well. Uh, I think, as I said, this half court press that Barringer has thrown up, it's, uh, it's bothered the Tornadoes. It slowed them down a little bit. They're getting inside and missing some nice little shots. They've missed four or five in the last minute. And yeah, we'll take a look at uh, that last bucket. We'll see okay. a little Troy Chandler and how he triggered this. Just lays it in. There he is. He came off that Barringer running almost a stacked deck underneath a 1-4 offense. He just outmaneuvered Greg King and came in. Well, Barringer, Barringer has picked up his third lead of the game. They didn't. Uh, they haven't led since since uh, back beginning of the first half, and later on in the second in the first half. But uh, they are back on top, 50-46. And Sammy Ra Andrew or Greg King. No, let's see. Randolph is going to take that ball inbounds. Okay, Barringer pulls off their press. Good move by Matt Rivers. Just to under five minutes to play. Trenton now trying to fight back with Randolph. They've grown cold. Baker battling, trying to put the ball up. He can't hit. And they have missed consistently underneath. Trenton missing the pop shots. They have grown cold. They were up by nine not long ago. And now Barringer has a four-point lead. And time is running out. Very important series right now. Chandler, McMillan. McMillan looking over the bench to Matt Rivers. And Chandler running that ball club very nicely. 
Barrett comes over to Chandler. Chandler had a shot, but he backs it off to McMillan. And they're playing very smart basketball. They're not throwing up any crazy shots. Here's Chandler, the little guy going with the big guys. Johnson's got it. He misses. Randolph rebounds it. Gets it over to King with four minutes to play. Okay. Barringer had a chance. Tornadoes come back right now. The bouncer inside to Corker on the turnaround. And he was fouled by McMillan. And Number for McMillan, 14. that's his third personal. And if you think there's little time left with 348, forget it. A lot of time. At the line will be Randy Corker with 348 to play. Two shots. Unusual foul shooting style of Randy Corker. And he hits it. Trenton fans hoping that might that might take the lid off the basket. Barringer fans hoping the reverse. Hits another one. Then cut the Barringer lead to two. Trenton led by nine not long ago. And he does. 50-48, Barringer as we come down the home stretch. And defensive pressure by Trenton. Troy Chandler. Chandler playing beautifully. Yep, little Chandler's okay in my book. McMillan high in the air on the shot. Woo. Oh, yes, he is a clutch ball player. 17 points. Back we come with Trenton. Parker misses. Knocked away from Chandler, but Johnson gets it back and turns it right back over to Trenton. 52-48, Barringer, Corker, foul by Johnson. John Koskinen has it on number two, five. Ryan Johnson. That's his third. You see this inbounds pass to Corker, good pass from Phelps. Goes up and he's hit across both arms. Randy Corker at the line. Two shots with 3.13 to play. <laughs> tough game to officiate, Dick. Very tough ball game, and they, uh, both John Koskinen and Ron Lewis doing an excellent job. Again, Corker can cut the Barringer lead to two. And he does. 313 to play. 52-50 Barringer. Out of Trenton pressure. Almost stolen. Chandler now. Troy Chandler. Has shown a lot of poise among some big people. And there's that stack offense. They go one on one. McMillan. He's got it. What a shot. Jerry McMillan goes with the right hand. Here's a one-on-one. -on -one. Watch his change of direction with the right hand. In he goes and lets it go with the right hand. Yes, sir. This is quite a ball player we're seeing out here. McMillan, a chance for a three-pointer. Averages 23 a game. And he sinks it. And Barringer goes on top by five. 55-50, under three minutes to play. Here's Corker. Bumping inside to Randolph for the bucket. Been a long time between shots. McMillan with 20 points as Holmes comes down. Okay, they're up by three and plenty of time. Too much time to try to freeze it. Holmes driving, wants a bucket. He's got it. And he faked him right out of their shoes again. Trenton going for that first pump. 57-52, Barringer. Corker fires from the corner. Grabbed by Chandler. And he comes to McMillan, who's going to slow it down. A fourth shot by Corker. Oh, McMillan's going to take the shot. Got it. Oh, and here we go. Yes, sir. McMillan with 22. And Len Carmichael wants timeout. As somebody throws candy out on the floor. Yeah, that's, uh, that's from in back of us. There's a lollipop out on the floor at midcourt. Nobody sees it. 
Yes, I think uh, some of the uh, Elizabeth staff see that. Okay, right now, Trenton with us back to the wall. Jerry McMillan doing a great job. We have 2.05 to play. Barringer on top, 59-52. And don't forget, that's it in sports coming up Monday night here on New Jersey Public Television. We will take a look at women's field hockey and ice hockey. That's right, women's ice hockey. Very interesting. That's it in sports Monday night at 8 o'clock on New Jersey Public Television. And don't forget, next Saturday, at 2 o'clock next Saturday afternoon, the NJSI AA Wrestling Championships tape today. You can see it next Saturday at 2, and next Saturday night at 8 o'clock, we will bring you live from Stockton State College, the New Jersey College All-Stars against the Pennsylvania College All-Stars. And right now, we have 2.05 to play, and Trenton is down 59-52. Erringer fought back from a nine-point deficit to take the lead. And they've done a beautiful job. Here's King coming over to Sam Randolph. Sam's got it back, goes right back up. And the tornadoes have just gone stone cold. They've got to put the defensive pressure on Barringer right now. Garrett comes to Chandler. Chandler to home with 1.45 and counting down to play for the Group 4 State Championship of New Jersey. Here's McMillan. Rebound, not, Holmes. Not a good shot, but a great rebound recovery by Holmes. Okay, they've got to go out and get him, Trenton. They've got the foul. McMillan, and McMillan is fouled by Randolph. His third. to play still 59 52 as Matt Rivers talks to his troops they hold the lead they fought back they were down by nine and came back triggered by play from Troy Chandler and shooting by Jerry McMillan and there's Matt Rivers who has uh, set up a beautiful man-to-man -man offense and here is the offense right here McMillan one and one and that puts the big blue up by eight points 128 remaining one more shot for McMillan what a touch talked about him on the pregame show Lenny Carmichael directing his troops as time is running out 125 to play back with Corker Corker on the follow up he's got it and they've got to put the pressure on. There's Chandler now. 61-54, Barringer of Newark with a lead. Time running out. Should have been stolen by Trenton along with that. In the back door comes home. Nine points. And it looks as though... Under a minute to play. Phelps, Phelps for Trenton. Trying to get the bucket, and he fouls as he crashes in for the shot. Offensive foul. 49 seconds to play, 63-54, and now Barringer has a nine-point lead. Here's that backdoor play. Look at this. Nice move in. Tornadoes concentrating solely on the ball. Roy Chandler, Phil Garrett, Jerry McMillan, with 44 seconds. They're gonna run that clock down if they can. They have a, a good lead at this point. Foul is called. And again, you know, the Tornadoes are fouling the wrong man. I think that's gonna put Jerry McMillan on the line again and uh, just should not do that. Barringer has never been in a state final in basketball. Trenton has been there 13 times in the past. And Dick, as we said, there, there are no losers in a ball game like this. Just, just the difference in the score. Matt Rivers 
starting to sense that he might be working on a state title. Lenny Carmichael coming off a very impressive win over Camden. Came in here a slight favorite in some of the polls. Rebounded by Garrett. We have 35 seconds. And the big blue going to run it out. Here's Garrett. Good. And that wraps it up. Aringer going to be the group four state champions. No question right now. The biggest lead of the game by anybody. 66-54. A 12-point lead for the big blue and Matt Rivers. Let's see it again. Holmes number 24. Underneath. Bill Garrett has played a beautiful ball game. Look at that delay. Look at him hang in the air. And he's at the line for the three-pointer. And that is it. And here he is right here. And Barringer can do nothing wrong right now. But they continue to uh, just apply a little pressure. They lead by 13. The time is running out. 28 seconds. Here comes King right to the bucket. He's got it with 25 seconds. And he was fouled. And he will go to the line. Group four championship game concludes the high school basketball season. And we thank everybody connected with it. The high schools, their athletic directors, the NJSIAA, everybody. Had a Mrs. chance for shot. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. 18, counting down. Barringer has won the state group four championship over Trenton High. Their first championship ever in basketball. And you got to credit Matt Rivers and this ball club for a beautiful exhibition. Five seconds, Garrett running it out. What a foul is called on Corker. Stopping the clock with four seconds. And the Barringer fans, very, very happy, very enthusiastic, waiting to explode on the court. Uh, this place is going to blow the going to blow the roof off this place. <laughs> I think yes. this game's over. All the security people are out. Ready to try and control this crowd. They are so happy. They picked up a championship. Here's Garrett. What a game he's played. Dick, you made, a, you made a very wise decision, Dick. No post-game show. Well, the place is packed. Standing room only. 5,000 people. Not much room to move around now. There's Lenny Carmichael, who says he's going to move on to Orlando, Florida to coach there. It might be his last game at Trenton High School. He may end up at Jones High School next year. Two seconds. And it's all over. That's it. <laughs> and Barringer High School, the Big Blue and Matt Rivers have won their championship, the first ever for the Newark School. And there's a good display of sportsmanship between Lenny Carmichael and Matt Rivers. They have won it 68-56. It was a game, uh, action-packed game, with Barringer grabbing the opening lead. Trenton coming on to lead at the end of the first quarter by one. Trenton led at the half by three. And Trenton led at the end of the third quarter by five points. But Barringer fought back. They were down by nine and came back and went on to win 68-56. We have seen an absolutely outstanding tournament here this weekend at the Thomas Dunn Sports Complex in Elizabeth. We saw a game last night in which a well-disciplined Long Branch team...